I'm going to make uh, some ATCs. Uh, uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, aquarelle paper. Uh, yeah, aquarelle paper, and it's uh, the size is this one. It's 190 uh, grams, so it's a big, uh, a very big. piece of paper, like a watercolor paper. I'm first going to make uh, the background. I'm going to use uh, this paint, this one, and this one. This one. These two. They're from Amsterdam. And this one. So. Makes a nice green color. <laughs> oh, sorry, out of frame. Going to use a different brush for the other other colors. Ooh, a little bit uh, too much. Again, too much doesn't matter.
getting a bit uh, a green, <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm going to dry it first and then uh, put on the other colors. I'm going to use some red with a palette knife. Hope it works. Ooh, ooh, that's very nice. Very nice. Mm, I like that. I really, really like that. Sorry, uh, I'm so quiet, but <laughs> I'm uh, not really a talker, so uh, I hope you enjoy watching it. And yes, uh, it's my first video, so uh, I'm a bit shy. I think it's enough red now. Clean up my palette knife a bit. So we can use some orange. If it wanna comes out. Doesn't want to come out. Yes, there it is. Some orange. Orange here. Ooh. Little bit of orange here. Here. Again, I would pray. Hmm, liking it. So and now we only have to get the pink out here, the bright pink. So I'm cleaning off my palette knife again. Oh, it's very bright pink. Look at that, Ooh. very bright. Bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Ooh, that's a nice color combination. It's pink and the green and the blue together, so it's looking nice uh, together. Hmm, I think I want to have some pink. Right over here. I'm gonna turn it again. Yes. A little bit of pink here. Ooh. Against the red is also beautiful. And then I've displaced a little bit of pink into the orange. And I think it's done now. So this is the background. 
the following step is uh, taking some stencils. Uh, I'm now uh, going to stamp, uh, uh, stencil I mean, sorry, and uh, I'm going to use uh, a stencil by Tim Holtz, the zigzag, and with it I'm going to use this uh, black acrylic paint. So I'm uh, just doing it on my uh, palette knife, uh, palette uh, Finish. Not too much uh, on the sponge. I uh, I noticed that uh, when I use this uh, sponge, uh, I, I don't have uh, much of the seep under uh, because when I'm using this tool uh, and this sponges. It seeps uh, under a lot. I just can't work with it. Just gonna place it here and there because uh, I'm cutting it up in uh, ATC size cards. So I think this is enough because I'm uh, going to do uh, four more stencils. The next uh, stencil I'm going to use is another one uh, of Tim Holtz collection. It's uh, the bubble. And that the paint I'm going to use is from uh, Amsterdam and it's uh, the copper. It's a metallic uh, kind of uh, uh, paint. I hope you can see because of the glare. I think you can. Again, uh, with a new one. I'm just going to uh, do it random again. Just here and there. On the uh, smaller parts uh, than the last uh, stencil. Try to place it again with a small section. Okay, a little bit over here. A little bit over here. So it's getting dirty on the back. 
I'm using too much paint again. It's seeping under. I don't like that. So I try to do a little bit less. It's working again. I think I have enough now. So we're going to use a, a different stencil now. And now I'm going to use uh, this stencil. It's a beautiful butterfly stencil. But uh, I'm going to use it as a, a background stamp for the swirls. It's very lovely. I use it often. Uh, it's called uh, Dobo Dutch Mask Art uh, A5 Butterfly. It's from uh, Dutch uh, Dubadu. Du 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 and um, it's not painted I'm going to use this time. It's uh, Inca Gold. And uh, I don't know if there's a color name. Oh, silver. It is silver, but sometimes it's a different name. The first time I'm going to use this, so I hope uh, I can stencil it with this too. So. It's getting on. Ooh. Okay. Very nice. Where I'm going? Ooh. Very smooth. Ooh. Beautiful. I think I'm going to use this more often. Like, uh, uh, not like, but uh, yes, I likey likey. <laughs> But uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to use it like uh, this uh, uh, more often with the stenciling. Uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm very new at mixed media. Uh, I did before this uh, crocheting, uh, decoupage. Um, Mandala drawing, uh, doodling, zentangling, uh, all sorts, sorts of stuff. So mixed media is just uh, a whole lot more. <laughs> and uh, yes, I, I love it. It's beautiful. And uh, it's. Uh, different methods uh, to use so uh, yeah that's nice little bit out of frame but for the most part you can see I changed the angle uh, of my iPad so you could see better but yes it's it's my first video so I'm trying uh, very hard and uh, oh, I like it and I hope you like uh, me making art watching me making art it's uh, beginning to look uh, very good. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? I still have to do one uh, more stamp. 
I'm going to use next uh, this stencil. And it's from uh, Prima Mark Marketing. And it doesn't have a name, but it, ha it has a number. Um, this item number. And again, I'm going to use uh, some Inca Gold. But now uh, it's a rose quartz. Well, it's a beautiful pink. This one I have opened, but didn't use very much of. Just going to place it uh, here and there. It's very beautiful. Oop, a little bit too much. Doesn't matter. So, I think uh, I think <laughs> I'm going to buy me some more colors. I do have a green metallic color of this, but uh, that's the only three colors I have, and I haven't used them very much. But I don't know exactly what I can do with it uh, all the time. So this is the second time I. Uh, I use this product so yeah and just exploring so uh, um, I'm now in mixed media I think for half a year something like that so I'm really just exploring at the moment I'm seeing lots of videos Lots of beautiful videos. Learning, uh, to, yeah, learning to know people uh, in the art world who are very nice, uh, making beautiful art. Oh, sticky! Oop. Sometimes I can be very clumsy. People who know me <laughs> know me like that. So I think it's done because well, maybe it's too much already, but uh, we will see uh, after cutting it up. Uh, this is part one. I will. Uh, uh, cut it in uh, different parts because otherwise the video is going uh, to be too long So this is part one of making uh, ATCs by me So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you uh, in part two, uh, two. <laughs>